What is up, everyone? Uh, it's been a long time since I was able to image. We've had some terrible weather, uh, just nothing cooperating as far as cloudy nights and just rain and misty and all that. But what I purpose of this video is to show look how low my numbers are on guiding 0.64. Um, that's pretty much the lowest I've ever gotten with the Celestron AVX mount. And this is with my 80 millimeter refractor. And what I did was I uh, kept wondering why my numbers are higher and higher. Maybe it could just be the part of Sky Imaging, but I did differently. This what I did differently this time was um instead of balancing east or balancing west with the counterweight, I balanced everything evenly. I was talking well, I shot Chuck with Chuck's actual photography, a quick little message through YouTube, but like what is he doing to get his numbers low? Does he balance east or west like a lot of people do? If you're imaging on the east, you balance east and that. He said, No, he just keeps it even because after a meridian flip, what do you do then? So I said, let me try that. So I pretty much try to get as east, I mean, as even balanced as I could. And my numbers, I mean, it's really low right now. My RA is 0 0.53 and declination is 0 0.43. My declination has always been pretty well, pretty good, but my RA has always been up a little bit. But that is real good right there. And um, tonight, what I'm actually working on is IC 342, the hidden galaxy. I don't know if this is going to come out because it's so faint. That galaxy is so faint. You can barely see it. But um, let me just do a stretched image here. This is the core of the galaxy right here. And I don't know if I can't really see any legs of a galaxy. But I'm just doing this right now because um, I have about two hours before the jellyfish nebula is visible past my neighbor's trees. Because his trees are just in the way. So um, I'm doing two hours of just uh, the red filter. Um, at 180 seconds and then it would jump over to the jellyfish and continue where I left off about two and a half weeks ago. I started on HA trying to do 110 photos at three minutes each. I only got to 51 before clouds came in so that was uh, beginning of February when I last was able to image and you see today's date is February 20th. So but, um, maybe I could pull up an image from my last image session so you can see where I last left off uh, let me see here. Open image. Yeah, that was actually February 9th was the last time I was able to image. And it ran until... Looks like... 2.50 in the morning. And that's when everything failed because we had clouds rolling. So let me go back a little bit earlier. Uh, maybe 1.53 in the morning. Just see what this HA image looked like. Because I really didn't look at anything because... I was in a bad sleep while all this stuff ran. Okay, that's a bright star. You can see the nebula a little bit right here. Still not that, not the best image, but I know you need a lot of data, data to bring this target out. But you can see part of the jellyfish. I guess that's the head right there. Let me try one more image just to see, like earlier, early in the evening. Let's go back to, let's say, eleven seventeen. Look at my jellyfish. Here we go. Let's say about 12.18 in the morning. Let's see what this one looks like. Okay, that's a lot better. Look at that. You can see a lot more of the nebula. So I need to go back and mark some of these other images as bad because clouds, the haze must have came from the clouds. But you can clearly see this is the jellyfish nebula right here and got a little bit of cloud right here too. So tonight hopefully I can get two more hours of this target in because this is my only clear night and it looks like the rest of the week we have rain in the forecast and mist and it's been like in the 60s and 70s so it's February and we got warm temperatures. But hopefully I can get some stuff by. Let me see. Um, has a dither run yet? Nope. I'm still looking at the what was it? Yeah, 0.86. So a little bit jumpy up in here but it's still that is low. I hopefully it can stay low when I switch to jellyfish. We will see because that will come in view around maybe 10.30, so it's about two hours from now, and I just wanted the main thing for this video was to show my guiding because my numbers have really improved, and just, it's just been a battle to try to get my numbers low, even though my stars are always round, no matter what these numbers are, my stars stay round, I just want to get them lower because I see a few other guys have lower numbers like that, but that's it for now.